Howdy, it's Kyle with a video ranking the flags of the 50 states as well as DC. A flag is a very important symbol of your jurisdiction, whether it be nationally or at the state level. And sometimes you'll hear people say, well, it's more than a symbol, but no, it literally is just a symbol because to say it's more than that is to say it's somehow utilitarian. But a flag is a very important symbol that represents your state and it's something you should be proud of. And in this video, I'm gonna count them down from worst to first. Coming in at dead last is Mississippi, and I'm not going to get into the political or social connotations of it, but just the fact that the Confederate battle flag is a symbol of anti-Americanism. It's a symbol of secession and not wanting to be part of the U.S., and now you have it on your state flag? No, shame on you, Mississippi. you got the worst state flag in the country. And along those same lines, we have Hawaii. What are you doing, Hawaii? you got a Union Jack in the corner of your flag, and I get the historical significance of having it as part of your flag, but at the same time, it looks like a flag of a British protectorate. Your part of the U.S. is a terrible flag for a U.S. state. Next up is Alabama. Could you have put any less effort into your flag design than Alabama did? It's almost like they said, hey Jim, you drew short straw. You come up with a design for the flag. I ain't doing nothing. Hey, looks pretty good, Jim. Nebraska's is the first of many that is just basically a navy blue background with a state seal in front of it, but of all of them, Nebraska's is the worst. This thing is hideous. Their neighbor to the north also has a really ugly flag. It's really busy, and it's got the nickname of the state written on it. Totally lame. Nevada's is another blue background with a state symbol in front of it, but it only takes up a small part of the flag. What's up with that, Nevada? Super lame. You could have at least covered your entire flag with it. Oregon's another one where there's a navy blue background with a symbol in front of it. It's all monotone and lettering in front. It's just super ugly. Yet another one of these blue ones is Minnesota, and it's just another really ugly flag with a state symbol in front. And the symbol is really ugly with a lot of stuff going on. You have to look at it for a long time to see all the activity in the state seal, but yeah, ugly flag. We're going to keep the ugly train rolling here with Kentucky's and the symbol itself isn't that bad, but the font they use for Commonwealth of Kentucky is horrible. It just makes the flag even uglier than it should be. Utah's goes over the top American patriotism because at the time of statehood, it was believed that maybe the Mormons didn't have allegiance to the United States, so they kind of put the eagle and American flags on it, but overall still this another one these blue flags with a symbol in front, super ugly. Oh look, Massachusetts, you have a white background with a blue symbol on front. Ooh, super original there. But yeah, another really ugly one with just a state symbol in front. Nothing original, super lame. Georgia's is probably the most disappointing of all the state flags, and it's the most recently adopted one. It's only about 15 years old, so they had a couple of hundred years to come up with a good design for a state flag, and this is what they came up with. Really ugly. Idaho's flag really hurts my OCD. I know the symbol is centered, but with the lettering, the whole thing looks off-centered. But in the end, it's still just another one of these navy blue backgrounds with a state symbol in front of it. Gold lettering looks okay in front of a navy blue background, but you know what looks worse? White lettering. So this one is just another one of these ugly state flags. Nothing original here, but now you have white lettering. Kansas is slightly better than Wisconsin in that the lettering is gold instead of white. The sunflower on top is not. I think the state flag would be great if it was just a giant sunflower. That would be really cool, but as it is, Kansas, pretty ugly flag. Oh look, it's another very original state flag design. This time it's Maine with their state seal over a navy blue background. And another with New Hampshire. It's kind of hard to rank all these ones that look kind of the same, so it basically ends up coming down to which state seal do you think is better. So New Hampshire, slightly better than Maine. All right, New Jersey's flag is super ugly, but I'll give them a couple of points because at least it's a different color background, even though, let's be honest, this thing is hideous. Michigan's flag looks like it was drawn by a six-year-old, but at least it's the only one that has a depiction of a Sasquatch on it. I guess the deer give it a nice little touch on the sides, but overall, pretty ugly flag. Connecticut gets a little bit of a boost because the state seal is at least somewhat classy, but in the end, it's still this another one of these really unoriginal, really boring state flags. New York's looks more like something you see used as a courtroom banner, but I guess it's a little bit better than some of the other navy blue backgrounds with their state seal because the seal is a little bit larger, but in the end, it's still just one of these really boring, unoriginal flags. Arkansas's flag, it's all right. I think it'd be better without the word Arkansas in it. Probably too many stars on it as well. It's a thinly veiled attempt at, at using the Confederate flag as their state flag, but it does look better than most of the other navy blue ones with their state seal in front of it. North Carolina is a pretty simple flag, which I like. It's kind of like Georgia's or Texas. It's not as ugly as Georgia, but it isn't as classy as Texas, so overall, it's okay. Iowa is at least trying something a little bit different with different colored vertical stripes, but the picture itself 
And the lettering makes it look kind of amateurish, but it's one of several that has the eagle as a main symbol. Illinois is going for a pretty similar look as Iowa's, but the artwork in the Illinois one looks a lot better than the one in Iowa. North Dakota is the third in a row that has an eagle as the prominent feature on the flag, but North Dakota's looks a lot better than Illinois' or Iowa just based on the artwork. That's kind of how classy it looks. West Virginia is another one of these just state seals in front of a background, but the background's white with a blue outline, so it makes it look a little bit better than these other ones, it's just their state seal. But overall, it's kind of another amateurish looking picture and just very unoriginal. Delaware's is in the same boat, pretty unoriginal. At least the background's a little bit different color, but I'll give Delaware a little bit higher gnaw because it has the date of a statehood on it, and it was the first state admitted to the Union, so at least that's pretty cool. Indiana's can pull off the boring look a little bit better than most because the image is very large and it's more of a stately symbol as opposed to a state seal. So I think it looks pretty good, although it does look kind of like the flag that will be flying over a children's hospital. Montana has the same general boringness as the other ones, but the thing going for Montana is a state seal is actually very pretty, so that helps it. I think it'd be a lot better without the word Montana written on it, but the state seal itself makes this one not look as bad as some of the other ones. Vermont is another one in the same boat as Montana, and it's just a state seal on a navy blue background, but the seal itself is very pretty, so it helps the flag out, and it doesn't have the word Vermont on it, so it's a little bit better than Montana's. And again, Virginia, another one of these unoriginal designs, but it's the only flag that depicts a murder on it, so i got to give it a little bit extra points for that. Uh, kind of an interesting image on the front, but it does give it a very unique character. Florida's is very interesting in that I think Alabama's is awful with just the Red Cross. I think states just putting their state seal in front of a basic background looks pretty stupid, but you combine these two with Florida, it works. I kind of like Florida's flag. Missouri's flag also features their state seal, which is nothing special. It's kind of another one of those amateurish artwork state seals from a long time ago, but it looks better in this setting with the, the red, white, and blue stripes and the stars. So it looks very stately, very official, and a very classy flag for a state. Oklahoma's works better than most of the ones that are kind of like this one because the seal itself is pretty cool showing its indigenous heritage. So overall, I think Oklahoma's is a lot better than the other ones that just have a symbol over a blue background. Washington is another that's just their state seal on a background, but the background's green and Washington's the evergreen state. So that's really cool. It's the only green flag and their state seal is just simply a picture of George Washington. So it's simple. It's classy. I like it. Louisiana is, is just a monochrome image on top of a navy blue background, but why this one's a little bit better is that the pelican with his wings out is meant to mimic the fleur de lis, so kind of the French symbol there. So Louisiana with its French heritage, that's pretty cool. Of all the states that just have a state seal on top of a blue background, by far the best one is Pennsylvania. This was actually a really cool state seal, so it works on this flag, whereas some of the states that have a pretty crappy looking state seal makes the whole flag look pretty crappy, but Pennsylvania just looks really cool. Wyoming can get away with using their state seal with a blue background because you have the red border makes it look a lot nicer and the symbol of the buffalo makes it look really cool for Wyoming. So this is how you can get away with just using a pretty basic design, but overall making it look pretty cool. I tend to like simple and unique in terms of flags and Rhode Island's is simple and unique. It looks really good flying under the American flag and when flown indoors, it has gold fringe around it. So overall, I really like Rhode Island's flag. Tennessee is another one that has a very simple but classy design. The predominantly red background with just one side that's blue looks really cool. The stars, where they're aligned in the middle circle, looks almost like it's rolling. So overall, I really like Tennessee's flag. Kicking off the top 10 is the District of Columbia. This looks exactly like you'd want the flag for the federal district to look like. It looks like a country's flag. And so with DC's position being very unique, it's our nation's capital, but not a state, you'd want it to look a little more federal, and it does. I think this is the perfect flag for DC. Next up is Texas. It's classy, it's classic. It represents what Texas is. The Lone Star State with a Lone Star represents independence, but it also looks very American and it's red, white, and blue. The only knock against this flag that I have is it looks kind of like the Chilean national flag, so it isn't a super unique look, but it does fit Texas perfectly. At number eight is Alaska. It's another very simple, classy design, and it is just another navy blue background, but why it works so much more for Alaska is that with the depiction of the Big Dipper asterism and Polaris, it looks more like the night sky as opposed to just a boring blue background. So you got the Big Dipper, you got the North Star, point you north, you keep going north, where are you going to end up? Alaska. It's perfect. At number seven is California. It's a very unique flag with a unique image and kind of like Texas. It shows its independent spirit, 
by showing the words California Republic, which was the flag that was flown when California tried to secede from Mexico. So very unique flag for a very unique state. I like it. At number six is Ohio. And of course, the first thing you notice with Ohio's flag is the shape. It's the only one that's not rectangular. So I like unique things. This is very unique. The design itself is very Americana. So you've got the O inside the blue, which is really cool for Ohio. It looks really good flying underneath the American flag. So overall, great flag. At number five is Maryland, probably the most easily identifiable and unique flag in the country. And again, I like unique, but I also like simple and classy. And there's nothing simple about this flag. And, you know, the classiness is questionable, but it's probably the only flag that should come with an epilepsy warning. And it's definitely the only flag that kind of hurts your eyes when you look at it closely. At number four is South Carolina. And just like Alaska, the navy blue background works on this because it looks more like the night sky with the crescent moon and the palmetto tree. So it's very simple, very classy. And an interesting story with this is that my wife and I were shopping in an area just north of San Francisco. There was a strip of boutique stores. One of them was flying this flag out there. And my wife goes inside and asks the lady, hey, what part of South Carolina are you from? I'm from there too. And she's like, what are you talking about? I'm not from South Carolina. She's like, well, you're flying their state flag. And lady's like, oh, I thought it was a pretty flag. So I guarantee you nobody is flying any of the other 49 state flags for the reason of they just think it's pretty. At number three is Colorado. And this is a perfect example of what you can get with good design. You can give a politician and an artist some crayons and a piece of paper and say, hey, make a flag with blue and white stripes, a red C and a yellow circle and see what you come up with. The politician will come up with something super hideous. The artist will come up with this. And a good artist can make a really good design look simple, but it's really hard to do. This is a beautiful flag and it looks really good flying. At number two is Arizona, another very unique flag that looks really nice flying. And so it's very representative of the state with the red and yellow rays looking like the sun because it's super hot there. And at the time the flag was designed, there was actually water in the Colorado River, which is what the blue represents. But overall, a very unique look, very cool design and it fits Arizona very well. And in my opinion, the best state flag in the country is New Mexico. It checks off all the boxes. Simple, classy, and unique. Nothing else looks quite like it, but it isn't crazy either. And no state has more of an indigenous heritage than New Mexico. So using a native New Mexican symbol for the sun on your flag is perfect. Got the yellow background, the red sun. It's hot there a lot. So perfect flag for New Mexico. Beautiful flag overall. The best one in the country. So that's my ranking of the state flags. And I think it's pretty interesting that three of my favorite four are three of the four corner states. That's a kind of a quirky coincidence. But a state flag is a very important symbol of your state and something that you should be proud of. And some of these flags are super hideous. And I know that several states are currently looking at possibly changing the design of their flag. I know Nebraska is one of them because their flag is truly hideous. And people are kind of embarrassed about how bad the flag is there. And so Georgia was the one that most recently redid their flag. But... As I showed in this video, their design was pretty ugly. So they had all these deer that come up with a new design and it looks terrible. So hopefully some of these other states considering a new flag will do a lot better than Georgia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve. And if you're interested in stuff about cross country road tripping and some nerdy US geography kind of stuff, then consider subscribing to this channel because that's what I'm posting. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King's hunting out and I'm about to go submit my entry to redesign the South Dakota state flag.